Number 1. A-64 Apache. Ironic it is that the best weapon of America's premier land force is an aircraft. But given the conflicts the US military has recently fought and is likely to fight, air power is the most decisive factor. Equipped with a 30mm cannon, health air missiles and sophisticated sensors, the Apache combines speed, firepower and range that allows the Army to strike enemies long before they come within firing distance of Army ground troops. It is equally useful at hunting down insurgents or decimating enemy armored columns. The Apache has fought well in conflicts from Desert Storm to the current Afghan war. Perhaps more important, the Apache is air power that the Army itself controls, rather than having to rely on the Air Force or Navy aircraft for close air support. An attack helicopter is not, and will never be, a substitute for infantry on the ground. But the ground troops will appreciate the support an attack helicopter can provide. Number 2. M1 Abrams. Whether the M1 Abrams is the best tank in the world depends on who you talk to, and more important, what country they are from. But it is indisputably among the world's best. Weighing in at 60 tons, the M1A2 has a 120mm cannon, depleted uranium armor up to 3 feet thick and a top speed of more than 40 miles per hour. It decimated Iraq's Soviet-made armor in 1991 and quite possibly would do the same to China's advanced Type 99 tank. Very few Abrams have been destroyed in combat, the fact that ISIS has destroyed or captured Iraqi government M1S says more about the quality of the crews than the tank.
Number 3. M109A6 Paladin. The U.S. Army's hard hitting, self propelled howitzers who have taken a back seat in America's recent small wars. Nonetheless, they remain highly potent weapons. The Paladin is the latest version of the venerable M109 self propelled gun. It can shoot a 155mm shell up to 20 miles using rocket assisted projectiles. It can also fire the GPS or laser guided Excalibur shell. You know, U.S. Marine Corps, Air Force, uh, international forces, it's a good opportunity. I think the 201st is up to the challenge, and so far we're executing the standard. Number 4. TOW Anti-Tank Missile. Russia, or the Soviet Union, seems to be the king of anti-tank missiles, though this probably reflects the pattern of arms sales, as well as how great a threat Western-designed armor posed to Russia and its clients. So it is easy to forget that the US Army is no slouch, either, at the anti-tank missile game. The Army's TOW, tube-launched, optically tracked, wire-guided, anti-tank missile is still going strong after nearly 45 years of service. It has destroyed tanks, mostly Russian, in Vietnam, the Arab-Israeli wars, the Iran-Iraq war and now Syria. The newer TOW 2B comes in several versions, including a bunker-busting missile, as well as the Aero model, which explodes above a tank to penetrate its thin top armor. And Good to go, Bork! Just go, Bork! Go! Gotta unlock the system, get a target. We'll go over the three Ds and we'll stop there. And number five, M2.50 caliber machine gun. 
It may sound strange to classify an 80-year-old machine gun as one of the army's best weapons. But the fact the M2 Modus is still blasting away after nearly a century in countless wars is testament to the fact that it is a remarkable gun. Developed when Franklin Roosevelt had just become president and Hitler was just taking power in Germany, the M2 has seen service all over the world as an anti-aircraft, anti-vehicle and anti-personnel machine gun that's closer in power to a small cannon. A recently upgraded version, the M2A1, features a quick change barrel and a night flash suppressor. Go. Mm -hmm. 